Hello, all you tubular tubers. Welcome to my laboratory. Well, that intro probably wasn't as neat as Pete, but I did my best. So I'm I moved in, moved the family in. Lots of boxes still. We got too we had too much stuff. But uh, we are moved in now, and I've become a minimalist. There's the microscope up there. But you put this down and show off my assets. any hand tools on me really besides the drill I have to, I'll have to go and pick it up at storage and bring it when I need to use it for certain things and uh, of course we have our Wii remote probably the most important piece of equipment so um so anyways you know meters screws stuff There's the LNR stuff, and here's the circuit. I'm just gonna finish this up, but I got some other stuff to do first. Take a little break. I'm gonna revamp my power supply with a better case, and, uh, and I'll show you that real quick. There are my hand tools. Um, so obviously, there's not there's some things I'm not gonna be able to do, like uh, um, you know high voltage stuff and doing chemistry stuff that needs ventilation uh, unless I unless, until the weather gets a little better uh, I'll probably still do a little bit of that but I'm talking kind of quiet because it's late but uh, this is a power supply that I built a while back but I didn't really show I, I do a lot of stuff and don't always show it on YouTube unless it's you know some importance it's basically just a DC power supply but I'll show you how I set it up I'm getting dirty looks from my my significant other right now. She is shaking her head, and she's naked. I could turn the camera on her right now and expose her to the world, but then my YouTube wouldn't. <laughs> she didn't like that. Hey, Brandy, can you come open this for me? <laughs> oh God, child lock. Okay, so. Um. This shunt right here, it's a Chinese shunt, it's kind of cheap, but um, this is all recycled stuff, but the wire's too long, so I'm not getting good current readings, and that was one of the problems with this power supply, and then my light went out, there we go, I need to get a new light, app, so anyways, uh, filter caps, and then, um, I have my choke, and that's to smooth out my DC. Uh, it works great, it makes it nice and smooth. Um, there's the rectifier, and I have the supply, the power supply, it's separate for the meter. <coughs> there's a little transformer back there, and a smoothing cap for that, and also um, controls the fan back there. Um, and that's before the transformer, that stuff back there. And it's a little messy, and also why I want to clean it up and put it in a metal, nice metal housing and ground the housing out. Make it a little safer for, the, for everyone, but this, this is a steel I got a while back. It was awesome. Found this tucked away on a shelf at a, my local convenience store. Thank you, Mr. Price, um, for turning me on to that place. But $45 for this sucker, it was such a good deal, but uh, 200, or 2.5 kVA. So, and I, it's a, uh, has four, windings in total so I phased together three of them and uh, I'm getting um see that would be to 360 360 AC so this this my voltage um, DC wise is about four um, 480 
about what it caps out at. And uh, it's at maybe at eight amps. And it's pretty, pretty beefy. And then I have an EMI filter back there too. And that light went out again. But I have an EMI filter in the back, but I need a better EMI filter too. Hey, let's focus, there we go. And so, um, and then the principle of, of my calorimeter, which has been very slow going, I'm gonna switch to Pyvex to reduce the thermal mass. Um, there's gonna be inner reactor, and this is the outer reactor, and I need to um, get some porcelain tile that will be you know, to kind of encapsulate, or, um, and then screw it down. That's the plan anyways for that, and, uh, and put some insulative feed-throughs. And then uh, I can measure out, it's gonna, it's a combination of bomb calorimetry or coffee cup calorimetry <laughs> and, uh, and um, flow calorimetry. And so the outer reservoir is also the outer water jacket and that way I can take a before and after measurement of the water itself to get good readings. And I'll have to do a bunch of calibration runs to really pin it down. But uh, I think it'd be easier that way and uh, more accurate. Um, and, and I can, and I'm using these little thermistors, um, very, have pretty good resolution considering, and then K-type thermocouple for reaction side, but this is really just to see how hot it gets, and it's not, once you hit certain temperatures, from what I've been told and researched, it, it starts, like, I think it's over, um, um, 1200, 1250, um, C, they start to be not very accurate, so, and then centrifugal fugal pump for that, so that's the, uh, that's the supply voltage and everything, and this is very variable, and, uh, that's all that, and then, it's that time of year, pulse motor build-off time.